Hokkaido. You probably think of snow and cold winters, but it's quite a popular destination for the summer too. The climate is a lot milder, so it allows people to escape the hot, humid oven that is pretty much the rest of Japan. Hokkaido is a huge island with a vast natural landscape, and it's just beautiful. And luckily, we took a trip there recently. Our first stop was in Tomakomai to eat some fresh seafood, which Hokkaido is known for. At the market slash food hall here, there are all sorts of produce and fresh fish, and even a store that's all about celebrating this high school baseball team from the early 2000s. Minato Shokudo specializes in kaisen don, or raw seafood bowls, and they had a variety of bowls to choose from. A fresh, delicious way to start the trip. Hokkaido is native to the Ainu people, and most of the place names here are actually not Japanese. So we stopped by the Upopoi National Ainu Museum to get a glimpse of the native culture and learn some of the history of its people. It's definitely a little dark and unfortunate, as is often the case when smaller civilizations get taken over unfortunately, but this is a good place to stop by if you're visiting, just to learn a little bit about where you're actually at. Our first day was at the Hoshino Resort's Rizunare Tomamu. The grounds that it's located on is vast and just covered in green. Lots of activities and places to kick back or have a picnic at. And there are all sorts of animals around too. The resort has a lot of shops, restaurants, and cafes as well, especially around Hotaru Street. It's gorgeous in the evening and basically the perfect place to escape for the summer. There's good food here too. Genghis Khan, which is a type of yakiniku but mainly for mutton, this is popular in Hokkaido. Expect these different meats to be more gamey, but they weren't at all and it was actually quite tasty surprisingly. The resort also has a couple of all-you-can-eat buffets with Japanese and Western food. My favorites were the sashimi and ikuro bowls, French toast, and the roast beef bowls. The highlight of the resort is heading up to Unkai Terrace. A shuttle picked everyone up before sunrise and took us all to catch a ski lift to go above the clouds and see some gorgeous views. Hokkaido is known for melons, so after our resort stay, we took a drive to Tomita Melon House. Melons to buy, melons to ship, and of course melons to eat. Really juicy. We also checked out an old winery in the Furano area. They had some really old bottles here. I don't know, do you think they're okay to drink? Then we got some lunch at a place that specializes in cheese because cheese and milk are two more things that Hokkaido is well known for. And for the record, I think Japanese milk is really good. We checked into our hotel at the Phoenix Furano, ate and drank with some family friends, and called it a day. So Aoi Pond is actually that color. It's pretty surreal. We visited a small city on the western coast of Hokkaido called Rumoi. After more fresh sushi at a place called Janome, we visited a few fish markets in town to have seafood delivered as omiyage or gifts. Shipping food is actually pretty common in Japan and you can pretty much ship anywhere in the country. We wrapped up our trip in Ashikawa. After some ramen for lunch at Aoba, one of the early ramen shops that started in 1947, we did some sightseeing at the famous Ashiyama Zoo before flying out. Hokkaido is a place that's really as different as night and day depending on when you visit. I had visited in the winter before a couple of times, but I'm also glad that I got to visit in the summer as well. Thanks for coming along on the trip, and I hope you get to visit Hokkaido sometime too.